Welcome to the cooking show. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make hash browns with bacon and eggs. So basically breakfast. I'm gonna wash the potato. You don't get to see this part because I don't wanna have to keep moving the... You just don't. All right. I like to use dry hands when doing everything. Next up, material here, you need a, some kind of a knife. This is a knife. I'm going to use it to cut this potato. I slice it in half, and then I take a half, and I slice that in half, still lengthwise. Okay, uh, step one, wash the potato. Step two, slice the potato into dices. Dices? I mean, you dice the potatoes, so you want to make them literally the size of dice. Dice? Dices? I don't know. I got a bowl of... What are these called? Pota potato. I got a bowl of potato. Okay, so I take my bowl of potato, and I stick it in the microwave. Cover it. One of these covers will do. Stick it in for about three minutes. And then I take my pan while it's heating. And I stick it on the stove. On my stove, I stick it somewhere between low and medium. That's just how I like to do things. All right, now the pan's nice and hot. So, we put some slices of meat on them. I take the piece of bacon, the big old package, cut it in half, all the way down, so all the pieces are just micro size. Why? It's custom. You don't question customs. Just add those onto the pan. The bacon will provide some nice grease, which will help to cook our potatoes, and later, our egg. But in my experience, it's not sufficient. So I like to add a little avocado or olive oil or some other kind of oil, just to give it a little oomph. Also, it helps cook the bacon into that perfect crispiness that you're looking for. There we go. There it is. Avocado, 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 there we go. Okay, so the potatoes are all done. We just leave them. Not ready to take them out yet, so they're just stewing in their steam. I wonder if leaving them in the microwave is the best option. I have this idea that keeping the steam there will help soften them. The reason why I put them in the microwave is so that it doesn't take as long to cook them. It takes forever, okay? Just take my word for it. It takes forever just to put them on the pan. So, I mean like 20, 30 minutes um, if you want to do them right. So, I just heat them up in the microwave so that it's cooked on the inside at least and they're nice and soft. It doesn't take as long to cook. Um, but I wonder if it's better to leave them. I should flip these guys. Keep them flipping. And a cook in. Might as well put the rest of the bacon away. Not cooking for an army here. Just cooking for little old May. Keep those hands of washing. I have a food handler's card, so I know. You gotta wash your hands every time you touch raw food. You gotta wash your hands twice before you cook. You gotta wash your hands every time you touch your nose, your hair, your face. Okay. My secret cooking technique is you just keep flipping them and flipping them and flipping them and you cook them on low and you wait, you have patience and you don't have to wait that long because you use the microwave to do the potato part. And it works out great because 
because you're not burning it, and you're not eating rubbery bacon. I hate rubbery bacon. Hot water goes good with breakfast because you could turn it into tea, tea of any kind. I drink black tea. I don't put anything in it. I'm hardcore. Come with me. It's coming to be pretty good. We're looking at little meaty bites. Mm, meaty bites. You recognize this kitchen from my Costco burgers video? It doesn't say I'm all good. Still living here. You get a nice big plate. They're called dinner plates. Don't get a salad plate. I put a paper towel on it. And then I put the bacon on it. There we go. And so we got all this, all this lovely grease here. Mmm, grease. Perfect for cooking as browns. Take out the bowl. Flip it upside down. Oh yeah. Put the bowl down here, use it for later. Come here. Come here. Break it up apart so that they can all cook on all sides. And then flip them around too. Go, there we go. Go, here we go. This part is my little OCD part. It's probably not necessary. You probably don't have to do it. But if you want to do it right, you gotta do it my way. To help them cook even faster, I cover them up with a lid. We used to have a, a, a pot this lid goes to, but now it's specifically the lid that Mary uses to cook her hash browns. Meanwhile, I'm going to use this bowl to make some vegetables. Vegetables are easy to make. You reach into a, for a freezer and you pull out a green bag of green beans that have been frozen. You stick them in a bowl and then you heat it up. It's so easy to make vegetables. Eat vegetables. All right. Don't leave these going too long. Keep them flipping. Usually after the first flip, that's when I add salt. I use Himalayan pink salt because that's what's available to me. Also, look at it, it's pink. It's pink. Kinda looks like fish. I add the salt early because I have this theory, but I don't know if it's true. But I keep doing it anyway and I don't bother looking it up. And that theory is, if you add salt to a vegetable or a potato, whatever potatoes are, then the salt will dry them out a little and make the juices come out faster and cook them a little more. Or something. Hot water's all done. Gosh, I'm real practically falling asleep in this kitchen. I need some caffeine. So are we beat? Sometimes I just kind of sit on one of these uncomfortable stools over here, and then I just sit and stare into space. But right now, whew, feeling like dancing. You never have too much salt in your diet. Yeah, well, I like salt. Maybe I'll die early or something, but I'll die happy knowing I ate so much salt. Whoa. Oh, it's so good. That's where it's at right now. That's what it looks like. It looks like that. Kind of golden brown, kind of almost done, but not quite. Um, my test isn't in the looks though, it's the sound. I raise them up with the spatula, and when they fall, if it goes, they're not done yet, but if it goes, clack, 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 then they're done. Listen, they're almost done. Which means it's time to add the other spices. You know, the ones that the ones that aren't salt. Pepper. Paprika. Paprika, pa 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 Paprika, paprika, paprika. Eureka, paprika. And pepper. That's just pepper. And okay, I'm gonna flip them one more time. 
they are really almost, they're pretty much done. Um, I can tell just by the feel of them. And that's definitely the sound. That's the right sound. They're done. Listen to this. That's the sound you want. I tilt the pan one way so all the grease goes that way, and then I push them up off the other side so that, you know, you keep some of the grease for the other thing you're going to cook. Because guess what? We're not done yet. I like eggs. And I'm a hungry girl. i got to eat a lot of eggs. So that's what's happening. Going to make me sell some eggs. Mm-hmm. You want to make eggs? Mm-hmm. You want to make eggs? Yeah, I want to make some eggs. Oh, yeah, what kind of eggs are you going to make? Chicken eggs. Here's a little tool tip that some people don't know. Hold the pan handle when you break the egg on the edge of the pan. For the eggs, I turn it to low. And then, I put the bacon back on. I'm not gonna do it this time, because I cooked the bacon to perfection, but um, I might in the future cook the bacon a little less than perfect, and then, when I'm doing the eggs part of this, I'll put the bacon back on, on the low heat, to just kind of simmer. That way, when I'm ready to eat the eggs, the bacon's nice and warm, instead of lukewarm, which is the usual for me. It's sad, but I've just gotten used to it, but I could improve it. So that must be something I try in the future. Since I've put so much salt on the pan, I don't put salt on the eggs. Thanks for ever. No. I will use pre-ground. Let the factories grind my pepper. Nice and speckly. All right, between freeze-dried chives and fresh green onions, which aren't chives at all, so they don't even taste the same. I prefer fresh green onions, but I've yet to try fresh chives. So I, I can't say that chives aren't as good as green onions. I can't. Let's start putting things away now. This could use some more heat. Here's how I cook my eggs. I just decided to side up. No flipping required. You want the, the yolks to be nice and jiggly. I take my marvelous display and I go to the dining room to eat it. I take my coffee. It's tea. You're eating so much salt, you're gonna get thirsty throughout. But also, you know, it's just always good to have a glass of water. It helps with your digestion, helps eat, and water's good for you. Freak water. I use the end of my fork and I peel off the skin of the yolk and peel it back, right? Right? Like that. So it's kind of open there. And then I take my hash brown, dip it in the yolk, and then I eat it. It was really good, like a little eggy dipping sauce. So that's my breakfast. That's my usual breakfast. If I'm feeling down, I'll have oatmeal and a banana. I'll put chocolate in the oatmeal, but uh, on a good day, I'll make a full breakfast, and it'll fill me until noon, and uh, it'll give me energy to do all kinds of fun stuff, like uh, staring at walls and dancing in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so um, so yeah, um, get out of my house.